Hello my dear family members, sometimes coding can be manageable but pseudocode are not. So today I brought some pseudocode questions which were asked on previous year Accenture drive which are very important for any time Accenture assessment test, right? So within very few days you are going to give the exam for PADA role. So I hope this video will be very much helpful to you, okay? So without any delay, let's start with the first question but before we proceed, I'd recommend you to have the Accenture Prime materials in which you will have all the coding questions of previous year and all the mock tests which are very helpful for you, okay? So to get that, knock me at my study, instagram.com slash techno.tuf, you will get it, okay? So let's start with the first question, that is this, right? So as you can see, if this is not properly visible, so I am telling you that set pp is equal to 2, q, q is equal to 6, r is equal to 9, pp is equal to 2 and 4 and r. If q greater than p, then r is equal to p zor 11 plus p, p is equal to 1 plus 12 plus p. Still, this is not visible. I am uh, discussing this because this question is very much important and I am I'm giving 100% guarantee that this question is coming in this exam. I mean, second, third or fourth uh, May, right? So let's start with the solution and let's see what's the shortcut to solve the problem. So as you can see, most of the time, if you are seeing that the pseudocode problem is very much larger, bigger, right? So don't be panic because this in this type of problems, the if conditions becomes fail most of the time, right? So you don't have to go in inside the e block and you just have to skip that and you will uh, have some very normal uh, calculations right so don't be curious or panic after seeing large problems right so there are many uh, skippable things you have right okay so let's start with this problem so in this case as you can see set p is equal to 2 right and q is equal to 6 r is equal to 9 so and p is equal to we are setting that 2 and 4 uh, bitwise and operator right i hope you know how to remember the binary form of any decimal numbers if you don't know still let me show you it starts from 0 then 0 1 then 10 then 11 this is binary form of 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 right so how to remember all or oh, let me show you so just add 1 before all the binary digits and you will get the next decimal numbers binary form right so 1 0 0 this is 4 1 0 1 this is 5 1 1 10 this is 6 1 1 1 this is 7 right it starts from 0 then it starts from 100 then it will start from 1000 so 1000 this is 8 1001 this will be uh, 9 1010 this will be 10 1011 this will be 11 and then so if you write so if you remember this way then this will be very much easier to understand okay so let me solve this problem so here at first we are initializing p is equal to 2 and 4 okay so bitwise and operator so in case of bitwise and operator true and true 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 and false 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 and true false false and false also false right so 2 means 1 sorry sorry so 2 means what 1 0 and 4 means 100 right 1 0 0 okay so if you perform a logical and operation sorry bitwise and operation then false and false becomes false and false and true becomes false false and true becomes false right so 2 and 4 becomes 0 and 0 and r that is 9 so 9 is 1001 right 1000 thousand is 8 and 1001 is 9 so 9 and 0 if you perform the bitwise and operation between them then false and true false false and true false and false 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 and false 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 and true false okay so this becomes 0 right if q greater than p so p becomes 0 right if q greater than 0 th that means if 2 greater than 0 that means this is true 
2 greater than 0 right sorry q greater than 0 so q was 6 so 6 is greater than 0 right so this is true so we'll go inside the e block so in case of zor operation uh, true and false becomes true and false and true becomes true false and false is false true and true is false okay that means 1 1 false 0 0 false 1 0 true 0 1 true okay so p means 0 p means 0 and 11 means 1001 right so sorry th not 1001 8 9 10 so 10 10 is 10 so 10 11 will be 10 11 will be 11 okay so in case of zor operation true and false is true true and false is true false and false is false and true and false is true right so 1 0 1 1 10 11 so this becomes 11 so 11 plus p that was 0 so 11 plus 0 becomes 11 and p is equal to 1 plus 12 plus p so 1 plus 12 is 13 plus and then we are ending the if block then we are just adding p plus q plus r so 13 plus 6 plus 11 that is 30 so the correct answer will be 30 so i hope you understood how to solve the pseudocode problem easily so if you want more such content then please have the prime materials which will be very much helpful to you so to get that knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.ea okay so uh, let's go to the next question and i will not solve those problem this will be quiz problem for you please solve those okay so let's see So I hope this video is very much helpful to you. If you found this video helpful, then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want. And please suggest me which content do you want more and which company content you want. Okay. So I hope you will recommend me. Okay. So thank you for today's session.